Hi. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a customer churn analysis on Power BI. The report will consist of visuals that can help anyone understand and get insights easily. First, we need to get a data set. So, what we're going to use is an Excel file of data of telecommunication company customers. Next, we need to transform the data set. Just select the table that you need and proceed to transform the data. We are redirected to the Power Query Editor, where you can transform your data such as add columns and rows or remove. Let's add a new column to see if a certain customer is a VIP customer. To do that, click Add Column then Conditional Column. Rename the column to VIP Customer. Just input the monthly charges. If it is greater than 69 then the customer is VIP, so we will put Yes. Add another clause, and if the monthly charges is less than 70 then the customer is not a VIP. Then click OK and you will see the new column. What we're going to do next is to get the total services availed by the customers. We have a total of nine services, phone service, multiple lines, internet service, online security, online backup, device protection, tech support, streaming TV and streaming movies. As you can see, the values of the services are in texts and not in whole numbers. We cannot get the total of all the services availed if that's the case. So, we need to replace the values of all the services. Right-click on the column then select Replace Value. If the value is Yes, we will replace it with 1. And if the value is No, the value should be 0. On the next column, you will notice that the values are not only Yes and No, there's a No Phone Service value. We will also change this with 0, so it won't be add up to the total. And change the Yes to 1, and No to 0. For the next column, you will notice that there's no Yes value instead, a DSL and Fiber Optic. To include these on the total services availed, we will change both with 1. Repeat the steps, and then we have these new values. On the next column, there's another value besides yes and no. We will also replace it with 0, so it doesn't affect the total. Repeat these steps on the column that has the same values. After replacing all the values, we will change the value type. From texts to whole numbers. Just click this and select whole numbers. We are now done with replacing the values in value type. We will now proceed in adding the new column which is the total services availed by the customers. To do that, we will select all the columns that we need. Then click standard then add. And now we have a new column that adds all the services. We will rename this column with total services. After adding the columns that we need, we can now proceed on the visuals. Let's add first the title of our report. Click the text box button and type the title you want for your report. Change the font size and font style according to your likings. For this page we are going to show the demographics of the customers. To properly show the difference between the returning customers and customer churn, we will put them on a separate visuals. Add first the total customers for the returning. Just click this to add a card then select Churn. We will change it to Count and filter it. We will just choose the No option since these are the customers who doesn't churn. We can just copy this visual and change the filter from No to Yes. We can change the font, just click this. We can also change the font size, remove the data category, and even add a border. Next, let's see if being a VIP customer has an effect on the customer churn. Let's use a donut chart, click VIP customer and churn. Move the churn to value. Filter the churn just like on what we did with the total count of customers. You can also change the title of the visual as well as the font size and font style. You can also change the details displayed on the graph. Since the label is already displayed, we can now remove the legend. Let's also add a border. Just copy this visual and change filter from no to yes. To avoid confusion with the graphs, let's change the data color. Now, let's add a pie chart to see how many are the senior citizen. 
select Senior Citizen and Churn. Move the churn to values and filter it. Just like what we did on the first graph, we can change the fonts, data color and remove categories, and even add border. Just copy this visual and repeat the same steps we did for all the charts. And we're done on the first page of our report. On the second page, we're going to show how the services offered by the company and their choice of payment method affect the customer churn. Let's add first a clustered column chart to show the total services available by each customer. Select Total Services and Churn. Just like what we did on the other charts, you can also change the font size and style and data color of this chart. After changing it, you may filter it. We want to show on this chart the total services available by the returning services. Just copy this visual and change the option on the filter. Change also the color of the data, so it will be the same on the other charts. Lastly, the payment method. We're going to use the tree map to show their choice of payment method. Select payment method and churn. Filter it since this visual is for the returning customers. Change it on whatever you want it to be presented. After that, copy the visual and repeat the same steps for the customer churn. And now, we're done on our customer churn analysis. With that, you can now get insights quickly and see on what aspect your company should improve to reduce customer churn and increase the customer retention. That's it for this video and I hope you learned something. If you have questions, you may write it down on the comments section below. Thank you.